Hey everyone, it's the Photoshacky. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is all about audio latency on Xbox uh, and all the devices that basically I have and uh, some interesting results. So I'm just quickly going to show you guys how I've done these tests and um, what I am comparing the latency against. Uh, so I've basically recorded 120 frames a second uh, and uh, the, from the moment you get the first uh, hint of a gunfire on the screen, uh, just counted the frames, how long it took for the camera to actually record the audio. Uh, so I'm using the best possible result as the benchmark and anything else, basically I'm just uh, taking the best one out of it and just going to be telling you guys how many milliseconds delay there seems to be uh, in other setups. So the best possible result was on PS5 uh, with a Game Deck Gen 2 or any other USB device. Um, uh, connected, you know, doing the audio. And um, as you can see here, so this is the frame uh, where I, when I press the trigger, I see a little bit register on the screen. And then it took one, two, three, four, five, six frames for the audio to be recorded in the file. And it was consistently six frames. Now I'm sure the audio is not played exactly when the, there is a register, but where is the audio played is a little bit difficult to judge because sometimes there is a flash, sometimes there isn't a flash, there's a mismatch on what I'm recording. So I'm just using the best possible result that I could get, which was six frames. And then anything that's over, I'll be deducting the six frames out and every frame is worth 8.3 milliseconds. So I'll be just telling you guys how many milliseconds of basically audio delay there is in the setups on Xbox. Now I did uh, do a test where I just wanted to make sure that there is no screen latency on PS5, that I didn't wanna see that oh PS5 screen is delayed. So I did test for that as well. Uh, those tests were done for a separate video. It's basically a DualSense Edge uh, trying to, uh, you know, gauge how many frames it's taking for the Edge uh, against the G7SC and I got the same numbers. Uh, so here this, uh, the stick moves, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight frame, I can see there is a very slight register on the screen. Uh, and it's the same thing for um, Xbox as well, um, G7 SE. G7 SE can actually go down to seven frames as well uh, for some results. Uh, so this is the one that it moved. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight frame, I have uh, the register on the screen. Uh, also, I tested for uh, the optical extractor as well. I just wanted to make sure that, because uh, I got some amazing results using the optical extractor, I wanted to make sure that the extractor was not adding any frames. Uh, to the result and uh, to my surprise op the optical extractor actually did a seven frame <laughs> result uh, so really um, basically nothing is added by the optical extractor so this is the uh, frame so it's one two three four five six seventh frame there's a very slight register on the seventh frame I can see on the screen and then eighth frame you get more register just like everything else uh, so optical extractor audio uh, from the on the ps5 and the xbox so the screen the screen latency is the same all right let's look at the results so we have six frames on game deck gen 2 on ps5 that's the best possible that we are comparing against and if we come to xbox uh, with the um, game deck gen 2 uh, using a wireless controller and this is the stereo uh, setting so i've tested for dolby access app and the just the normal stereo as well uh, we get 22 to 23 frames so i'll be using the lowest number of frames and if it's more than two frame discrepancy, I'll be using the middle number. Uh, so we have 22 frames and uh, you can see that there is a, a sort of spark coming out of the gun on this frame. And it takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So same camera, same setup, everything is the same. Just change the console and uh, same headset, device is the same. From six frames, we went to 22 frames. That gives us a 132.8 milliseconds of latency uh, when we compare the same device on Xbox, but this is with a wireless controller. Uh, on Xbox, things change all the time if you're using a wired controller or wireless controller, as you guys will see. Uh, now, if I go with a wireless controller, Elite Series 2, and uh, we use the uh, Dolby Access app with the, the processing, the sound processing, it goes up to 23, 24 frames, so 24 frames, so 141.1. Uh, and uh, this is uh, with the uh, yeah, wireless controller. The next one is wired controller. Uh, so we have G7SE connected wired and uh, the Game Deck Gen 2 is, is wired anyway. So that's uh, 23 frames, a bit more consistent, 141.1. And uh, the next one is Dolby again. So wired controller, 
it's added a little bit more latency, it's 25 frames. So 157.7 uh, milliseconds worth of latency. Uh, next up, we have the Astro Mixem Pro TR. This one, if you are using it over USB uh, with a wired controller, we have 17 to 18 frames uh, in the stereo basically output, which is so far is a really good result. So 91.3 milliseconds uh, is that what we're getting compared to a PS5 result. Uh, and if we go to the Dolby XS processing, this is where it gets a little bit worse. So it's um, 22 to 23 frames, and that is 132.8 milliseconds. Next up, we have the Astro Dolby, but with the wireless controller. So it brings the latency down. So from 22, we came down to 20 frames, and it was very consistent. But this is Elite Series 2 wirelessly connected, and Astro is connected with the USB. Uh, so this one is 116.2 milliseconds. Uh, and uh, next up is the wireless, Astro Wireless. Uh, so Elite Series 2 wireless, Astro Wired, 16 to 17 frames. So really good result, 83 milliseconds um, of latency um, compared to PS5. And next up, we have the Elite Series 2 uh, wirelessly connected. With the stereo, we got 15 to 17 frames. This is the thing about the Xbox Wireless. It's a little bit more inconsistent. So I'll be using 16 frames as a result. Still a really, really good result, so uh, 83 milliseconds. And then if we use Dolby Access app with the Elite Series 2 wireless, we have 20, 21 frames, so use 20 frames, so 116.2. So Dolby seems to be adding uh, latency anyways. And uh, the next up is uh, it's a wired connection with a, a stereo output Elite Series 2, and uh, that's 17 to 18 frames, so 17 frames, 91.3 milliseconds, but a bit more consistent than the wireless. It was always like 17 or 18. And uh, the next up is Dolby with a wired 20 to 21 frames. So same thing as before, like in the wireless, so it's 116.2. Then we come to the test of the Artist 9X. So I had to borrow this one. This has um, Xbox wireless built in. Uh, and uh, if you are using a wireless controller and the Artist 9X wirelessly, we get 19 to 20 frames. And that basically brings it to 117, 107.9 milliseconds, that's with the stereo output basically. Uh, and then if you use Dolby, then it increases a little bit, so 21, 22 frames, so 124.5 uh, milliseconds. And um, now here's the thing, if you use the Artis 9X with a wired controller stereo output, this is probably the best result uh, for a wireless uh, setup, but you have to use your controller wired. And that was 15 to 16 frames with the stereo output, and that gave us 74.7 milliseconds, which is, so far, is uh, the lowest number. Uh, so very, very good setup, uh, and a viable setup as well. Uh, so if you want a wireless headset, maybe the best option would be to get a Xbox built-in wireless headset. Uh, so in my testing, this was like the best that I could get. And then if I use Dolby Access, then again, it was adding latency, it was 21 to 23 frames um, with the Arctis wireless and the controller wired. So base range results, well, I'll, use, I'll be using 22 frames, so 132.8 milliseconds. Now we go to the optical extractor results, and these are like the best ones. Uh, so um, Astro Mix and Pro TR with an optical extractor stereo output 14 to 15 frames. So I'll use 14 frames and that's 66.4. So definitely the lowest one. Uh, and uh, with the optical extractor, um, using a wired or a wireless controller didn't matter. So these are actually with uh, the Elite Series 2 connected wirelessly. So I got 14 frames there. Uh, and if I use the Dolby Access on the console, uh, to do the processing, it only increased by a frame, so 15 to 16 frames, so 74.7 uh, milliseconds. So for me personally, this is like the best setup, uh, is Astro Mix and Pro TR with an optical extractor and using the Dolby Access processing done on the console, and yes, you can output the processing through the HDMI out. Uh, so very, very good result. Now I did try uh, connecting the Astro in the PC mode and get the Dolby digital out over the HDMI, uh, that just adds too much latency. So that was 26 frames. Um, and then you can do the Dolby processing on the device, but that's a bit too much, 166 milliseconds. So if we talk about the best possible setups, so in my, like, for, I would recommend the Astro Mix from Pro TR and a, an optical extractor. 
are the numbers too high? That's for you to judge. Uh, I personally don't think they are too high because uh, to be honest, this was the test was done because of uh, I felt like there was something there, but to be I, I couldn't pinpoint. I love the uh, the uh, the Dolby Access uh, processing. The sound is absolutely amazing. But on PS5, I did feel like, you know, when multiple enemies are pushing you, you could really hear exactly when the audio was. It was it's very anecdotal. But to be honest, I didn't even, I didn't realize there could be this much of latency. So I don't think, I, I mean, it's up to you uh, if you think it's a lot of latency or not. But yeah, I did think that this was very interesting. So the, for me, right now, I've changed my setup. I'm using the Astro uh, with the optical extractor. If you want to go wireless route, I have a feeling if you get a headset that has a USB dongle, that might have this delay as well, because I think the issue is with the audio coming over USB from Xbox, um, which sort of is adding uh, uh, latency when we look at the audio coming out of PS5 over the UAC one. Uh, protocol like on, on any of the USB uh, setups I could try was actually a really good result on the PS5. So if you're looking for a wireless setup, maybe uh, considering something that has the Xbox wireless built in, like the Xbox original, like their own headset, or maybe the Arctis 9X, or the Razer Kyra Pro, I think there is one, uh, they can be a good setup. Uh, or or um, if you have the Elite Series 2, then you probably have the best uh, setup uh, anyways. Uh, but I think going forward, I'll be including um, these audio test results in my controller reviews because uh, I do think these are interesting and I'm trying to find some other ways to test for audio as well for controller reviews. But yeah, um, like I said, are these numbers too high uh, for your life? You know, for, that's up to you to decide. I personally don't think so. I think it's so like uh, the result is so minimal. It's um, I'm not sure if anybody's actually going to notice it. But it was interesting uh, to find it out anyways. Uh, I do want to say thank you so much for everybody who subscribed. Your support absolutely means a lot. And I do have a request. Definitely share your experience and your solutions for audio on Xbox, how you're using it and what you think. I will be making a video on some um, really good setups for MW3. I'd really like the audio engine in that game and uh, the way I'm using like my audio game and stuff. I do think I get a really good experience when it comes to audio. Uh, and also, uh, also I'll be making a PS5 version uh, of this video as well, They're talking about latency. It's a, it's not this erratic on PS5, but yeah, there are some different numbers uh, on the PS5 as well. I hope you guys um, you know find this information useful uh, and hopefully I'll catch you in one of my other videos. Bye for now.